Okay, so I don't believe it. So I park, I paid 25 bucks here at the casino when other people are paying nothing so that I can go there in the middle of the night, take a shower and pee. And instead, they gave me the code, it's 5.30, I'm up, and I can't find the code. And look at how ridiculous I look, standing here in the store outfit. What do I do? I can't get in, so I gotta use my little pee funnel for women to pee right here in the parking lot because I'm desperate. <sighs> I can't believe it. Dang it. Okay, I'm off. Here I thought I'd get to have a nice little shower. I'm still on my little jammies. I just want to get out of here. Make it to Eureka today. Wash my face, brush my teeth. Do all that stuff later. I'm too frustrated right now because I can't get into the damn little thing that I paid for. So I'm just gonna go and cruise down the road. Um, yeah, see where I can <clears throat> stop later to get ready. So this is amazing. I just pulled off the highway. I'm about three hours out of Eureka on the coast. Spectacular. Actually, it's fairly warm here already, which is kind of interesting. And there is Klinka. Working pretty good because I put these little baskets up. Right? I don't think I'm into actually going to cook, but I got all the stuff I need. There's even spices here. But right there is my knives and forks, so those are easy to grab. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> I kind of like these lights in the van. I think they're pretty cool. Oh, and I just love my pictures. There's my kitty and my kids. Uh, Rachel and me and the boys when they were little and hey there's Freddie if you're watching oh look at that Jesse when he was little and Anakin and I and Jesse oh uh -huh. and there's Rachel and we were in Australia Jesse and I being hippies <laughs> wow I miss them if you're listening, I miss you guys. Love you. And not to forget, Jenna. Jenna right there and I. And then my good friend, Karen. Oops. Not bad. Mm. Not bad sitting here listening to the water doing this. But I did listen to the news this morning about all the cases in California of Corona. So that does worry me a little bit, but I looked at the map and it really is mostly in, uh, hey, Lorraine, here's a llama jammies you gave me. And I'm driving my jammies. <laughs> There's like nobody on the road. I put a jacket on when I go outside. But anyway, they're all in LA. There really isn't much in uh, San Diego or at least not much more than there is up where we are. But what are you gonna do? Ooh, I'm just realizing I took, of course I took the card you gave me. <laughs> mm. Wow, it's like little hobbits should be coming out of the forest here anytime. Yeah, very curvy. I actually saw some great big huge moose or elk or I don't know what it was, but it was right behind me. I, 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 it looked it looked huge. It was like a camel, and uh, and I just kind of missed it. And then I looked behind me, and there it was. And unfortunately, I had to keep going. Um, there we go. Close to. I guess I should be getting into Eureka here in about an hour and a half, and then I should be in San Francisco in about six hours. 
So after that, if I continue on the 101, it's going to be another 15 hours. And I guess I should stay on the road here. And then uh, I should be there at about the 29th. And then I have until the 2nd before my work starts. And the cool thing about that is that somebody else who wanted to hire me for a father who, um, his father who had Miller Fisher syndrome, but then decided to put him in a nursing home instead, really liked me. And, you know, I actually Zoomed with his whole family and they all liked me. And they were originally going to put us in a Airbnb in Del Mar right by the water to take care of his father. That would have been kind of cool. But uh, hospital beds were like $6,000. He was gonna make his decision instantly. And I and I did tell him that, hey, in 60 days, I've got this other gig going. It turned out okay, because the gig, the other gig that I have going is gonna start on the second. But anyway, um, he, um, he ended up having to immediately put his dad in a nursing home, which he tried to avoid. And then um, they kind of liked it. I mean, what's not to like? It was in La Jolla overlooking the water. They were worried because of Corona to put him in there, but I guess they had to because of the expense in the hospital and it turned out that they really liked it. So that gig fell through, like I say, and that's okay because I've got this other thing going on and that's gonna be in Fallbrook. But um, in the meantime, we've kept in touch and he's like, hey, I'll put you up on uh, Airbnb when you get down here. So I'll probably get down on the 29th and then I got three more nights, let's see, 30, yeah, to the 30th, to the 31st, no, four more nights. And he's gonna put me up in one of his Airbnbs if, if there's room, otherwise, hey, I got the van, but that'd be cool, so I'll keep you updated. something warm to eat. I'm tired of prosciutto and pork rinds. I want some warm soup or what I've got, got to break out my um, my, oh here comes the wood again. My my um, cooking stove. Eureka! I found it. Eureka found Eureka. Yay! <sighs> I think I'm going to sit on the bench here. No, I'm sure I'm going to be standing up because I've been sitting too long. Get myself some sushi and some kombucha. Yeah, it's so curvy here. This is nothing. I shut it off again for a while. I feel like I'm in a video game. Some of these curves are like one after another. Super, super tight can't go you can go like 10 15 here maximum it's pretty but wow it's intense it's actually hard work look at this it's going up the mountain and I'm going around and it's continuously full-on it's a really good thing there's no ice around these parts man Getting a little exhausted. Two hours of this shit. It's pretty, but man, it's intense. Come out, hobbits. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Uh. Okay. Okay, that's it. I reached the coast. Curves isn't going away, but I reached the coast. Yay! Pretty spectacular. Oh boy, maybe I should just pull over there where these guys are and spend the night there. But if they're leaving, it means I'll be alone all night. And I don't think I want to do that. Wow, almost out of gas with both tanks. And I found this place, it's right by the water. It's camping and there's nobody at the tent camping. So I'm the only one at the tent camping but there's tons of people at the hookups. And uh, so that's that's kind of cool. But um, 
Yeah, it's just in time. Apparently there's a gas station up the road. Ha! And that it's Westport is what it's called here or something. Four bucks a, a gallon. And I have two tanks. But that crazy windy road from 101 going all the way to one is just, wow. It's slow going and it took like over two hours to get there. But um, I'm gonna stop. It's 18 miles or 14 miles to a big gas station, but I'm gonna get a little bit tomorrow morning just for that, the $4 one until I make it to the bigger one. <laughs> well, this is a pretty rad camping spot right on the ocean. It's crazy, man. And I'm still in my pajamas, but I can have a shower here tonight. But it's, uh, yeah, it is bright on the water. See, there's all these hills here, a huge beach, camping places are over there, and uh, it's right here on the water. Very, very long. Okay, here I am in the van. It's nighttime again. <laughs> Made my bed. It's all cozy. Gonna clean up a little bit. Mm, pretty cozy in here, actually, with the candles and everything. Got my little orange. Now, the suitcase is in front of the glasses, so I have to drink my wine out of the bottle, which is okay. <clears throat> And um, the thing is that this van is a lot more full than it normally would be because I'm bringing all my stuff down because I'm essentially moved. But once I have that room in that place, then I can actually clean this van out and I just need very, very little and go camping more. So that's going to be super cool. But overall, it's like super warm last night I, had to, I didn't want to put my heater on so last night i had to really bundle up but i mean i am in california although northern california but it is still actually really really warm here so that's good so there's my little candle that samantha made me <clears throat> no wi-fi so i'm going to read i'm going to read tonight oh kathleen left me a little book jesus lives and it's got little things in it. And then I have Charlie's Girls. Ooh, Charlie Chaplin, I guess. What else do I have? Well, hmm. The Secret of the Ages by Robert Collier. That's for anybody who wants to, um, wants to do some self-evaluation. It's kind of this affirmation stuff. Do, 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 do. Good night, everybody.